from the cast member who brought the show to an end to what season 5 could have held. These are the controversial theories about why Good Girls was cancelled. From the first episode of season 1, Good Girls made a name for itself. Though it never became a huge ratings winner while on NBC, the show did manage to become a beloved new show for critics and audiences alike, which made its sudden shocking cancellation after season 4 even more disappointing for so many. Before its unexpected cancellation, a season 5 was basically a given. Fans and the cast of Good Girls were ready to continue the stories. So what happened to keep the show from returning to our TV screens? Well, that leads us to some rather controversial theories, starting with the fact that one cast member refused to return, which led to the entire series being cancelled. This was confirmed by Good Girls star Retta, who played Ruby herself. Retta explained that the main stars, Christina Hendricks, Mae Whitman, and herself, had all agreed to come back for a fifth season. They knew that the fifth season was going to be their last, and the three leads even agreed to take a pay cut as the season would also be shortened. They wanted to wrap up the loose ends of season four and give fans a satisfying conclusion to the stories they had grown to love. But then, one cast member refused to follow suit, and all signs point to it being Manny Montana who played Rio. Now, Retta didn't out Montana as the culprit, but other reporting surely does. When the news first broke that Good Girls wouldn't be returning for a fifth season as it was now cancelled, reporters also explained that negotiations with Montana regarding his pay stalled, which ultimately led to the show fully ending. Retta as well as the other leads were obviously upset about this, especially because NBC insinuated that season 5 was a given. If Montana would have just signed on and taken the pay cut that the three leads took, then season 5 would have continued on without a hitch. Retta went on to explain that production for the fifth season was just about to begin when this cast member fell through. As a result, NBC didn't feel that the writers had enough time to figure out what to do without Rio so they just outright canceled it instead. To this, Retta simply said, I'm salty. I am too. Pay might not be the only reason Montana ended negotiations on returning to the good girls set. Oh no, there are more controversial theories as to why the show fully ended. According to various reports, Montana and Christina Hendricks did not get along. Both described their working relationship as professional, and nothing else. Interviews between them over Good Girls' four seasons were tense, to say the least. It wasn't really a secret that these two didn't get along. So when it was Montana who pulled out of the show's fifth season, many felt that he refused to take a pay cut because he clearly didn't like working with Hendrix. Why take a pay cut when you don't love work to begin with? Which is rather interesting because you would never know Hendrix and Montana didn't like working together. Beth and Rio were one of the main reasons why fans tuned in week after week to watch the show. To see suburban mom Beth fall for bad boy Rio, it was impossible to look away. This makes the apparent lack of a friendship on set even more of a bummer, especially because it also, potentially, resulted in the show being canceled. Now, neither Hendrix nor Montana has ever come out and talked about these allegations. The only reason we know Montana likely caused the end of the show is because of Retta. To Montana's defense, many people believe that NBC could have pushed for a fifth season if they really wanted to. Even though the network cited their own financial situation as a reason why they had to outright cancel the show, it's not like NBC is truly hurting for money. Instead, with Montana's negotiations, NBC could have seen a way out. After all, even though Good Girls was critically acclaimed and adored by the fans that watched it, it wasn't a huge ratings winner for the network. It did phenomenally well on Netflix, but NBC never fully saw this love appear during the seasons when it aired new episodes. So they could have just found a way out rather than agree to pay Montana the money he was looking for.
All in all, it's just a real shame. Good Girls was an amazing show and a real hidden gem. More people began to watch it once it appeared on Netflix. And now it's still a popular show on the streaming platform. So could this mean Netflix could pick it up for a fifth season? Unfortunately, it looks like this might be unlikely. When Good Girls was first canceled by NBC, rumors swirled that Netflix was looking to pick it up themselves, especially because the show fared so well on their streaming platform. But these talks fell through quickly, hinting that maybe Montana was refusing to return in any way. Netflix not picking Good Girls up for a fifth and final season wasn't just a bummer for fans. It was also a huge bummer for the stars of the show. While Montana may not have loved his time on set, and while Hendrix also may not have enjoyed working with him, the three main leads really did get along. In many ways, they adored each other and greatly enjoyed working together as the strong moms they got to portray. When it was announced the show was canceled, they all expressed their remorse that they wouldn't have the chance to wrap up their characters' storylines. It seems that, if they were given a chance, they would all jump at the opportunity to return to the world of Good Girls. If Netflix would miraculously pick the show back up for a fifth and final season, what could we see? When the fourth season ended, audiences saw that Beth was now on top and had control. Even if her marriage to Dean, played by Matthew Lillard, was fully coming to an end. To see Beth have power over Rio now, for the first time, that would have been more than a little interesting to see. Plus, if Beth and her husband Dean truly ended their marriage in the fifth season, and if a divorce was ongoing, this could finally lead to Beth and Rio having the chance to see where their compelling relationship could go. Many fans were really excited about where Beth's arc could turn in the fifth season. Out of the three ladies, Beth is the one that has the opportunity to really go dark and immerse herself in the criminal underworld. Though there's no telling just how dark Beth could have gone, fans wanted to see this. They wanted to see her character struggle. Would she stick with Rio, who clearly would pull her to the dark side, or would her suburban life pull her back into the light? Unfortunately, we'll likely never get to see where Beth could go in the show. And then there's Annie. The last we saw of Annie in the season 4 finale, she was being arrested. Season 5 clearly would have shown just what would happen to Annie. Would she fully take the fall for killing Lucy? Would Beth let this happen? Or would she, now that she had more power than ever before, work to ensure Annie is freed? Of course, we can't forget about Ruby. Ruby's marriage was on the rocks the last we saw her. Her husband Stan was done with her, as he felt that she wasn't choosing him and her kids. Instead, she was choosing her friends. It looked as if Ruby was officially choosing her family rather than Beth and Annie at the end of the fourth season. But would this decision stick in stone? Or would Annie's imprisonment and Beth's new powerful role lead Ruby back into her little criminal underworld? One of the best, if not the greatest joys of Good Girls was the trio at the center. Watching Beth, Ruby, and Annie together was a real delight, thanks to the chemistry between the three lead women. The first few episodes, which saw these three moms decide to rob a grocery store to help solve their financial problems, drew fans in because of the chemistry between the leads. So in season five, it would have been nice to see how these three ladies managed to bring their story to a close, especially because season four left open so many storylines. So, from what we could have seen in the fifth season, to the cast member who brought the show to an end, these were the controversial theories about why Good Girls was cancelled. 